All right, what's going on? Happy, uh, happy Thursday. I wanted to just come live with you real quick and talk about when is the best time to follow up with old mortgage leads. You know, the thing is, if you're running Facebook ads or you're doing any kind of lead generation, then you have a percentage of people that are going to pre-approve or they're going to convert out right away. Right. Say, for example, on Facebook ads, when we run Facebook ads, maybe you're going to convert eight or 10 percent of the people that, uh, you know, respond to a Facebook ad. Maybe you're going to convert eight or 10 percent of those people right away. Right. Or in the first couple of days. But everybody else is not going to convert out right away because maybe they're either not ready yet or they want to get to know, like and trust you a little bit before they decide to actually um you know, give you all their personal information and talk to you about their finances and buying a house and all of that sort of thing. So if you have people that don't convert out right away, right? Say, for example, that, like I said, 80 to 90 percent of people, um, you know, it's going to be typical that 80 or 90 percent of leads you generate on Facebook aren't going to convert right away, right? They're not going to be ready to go look at a house this weekend or they're not going to be ready to get pre-approved today. So if for those folks, what you need to do is you need to have some kind of way to follow up with them, right? So what are you doing right now in order to follow up with your leads that aren't converting out? Are you putting them into some kind of email system and staying in contact with them? Now, a lot of loan officers, they'll say like, oh, I want to have a drip system, right? I hear that phrase a lot, a drip system. But to me, a drip is dumb because it's not very personal and it's not real time and a lot of times people can tell that it's a drip that was written a long time ago. Now there are some people, you may have the skills uh, for, for copywriting where you can write an awesome drip and it feels really personal, it feels real, it feels like you're doing it right now, but for most folks that's not the case and if you're using the drips that come inside of these email systems out here in these CRMs, it's probably terrible, right? The drip inside of those things in general, when people are writing these emails, they're really long and you can just tell that it wasn't something that was written right there off the cuff. So the reason I decided to go live today and talk about this is because Thursdays is the best day that I found to follow up with old real estate leads. One of the reasons is that if somebody responds and they are interested in doing something, you can try to hook them up with a realtor to go out this weekend. So Thursday is an awesome day. So if you know, if you right now, if you're not doing anything to follow up with your old mortgage leads and you're just letting those folks you know die off or you're using some kind of antiquated drip system and you need a better way then just consider to write a personal email you know man the sun is like really messing me up right now too consider write, writing like a personal email um, you know to that list of people that didn't convert out once a week right and for me like I said I found that if you write on Thursdays, it's one of the better days to communicate with them. And that way, if somebody's interested, you know, they're already thinking about the weekend. And if they're interested, you could go ahead and get them pre-approved and be able to connect them up with a realtor so you can hook them up for the weekend. So think about that, right? Maybe you have old leads. You have a database right now of people that, you know, were leads and you never did anything with them. Maybe today's an awesome day to shoot them an email. All right, so think about that. If you need some help with what you're supposed to say when you're writing these people or how do you convert more of the leads out, well, we do that kind of stuff inside of Mortgage Marketing Mastery. So there's a link right around here. I'd invite you to apply for the program. We have a pretty sweet sales page you can go check out or a little overview page that'll give you some insight on what we're doing inside exactly. And uh, you can make a decision from there if our community is something that you want to be a part of or not. So let me know if you have any questions. You know, write a comment. I can uh, get back with you later. And, uh, you know, let you know if you have any, if you need some input or you need some help on how we're doing this. But try, try shooting an email to all your old leads today on Thursday and uh, see how that goes for you. Let me know in the comments if you have some success with it. Love to hear about it. All right. Hope you have a great one.